All right, we're just here at Book Soup. Just bought uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Looks good, right, Ollie? Yeah, it looks great. And she got a kitchen, I mean, uh, not a Studio 54 book. <laughs> she likes to party. Yeah, I like to party. I get asked a lot, you know, what's the secret if you're completely broke, if you're trying to do big things? Uh, without a doubt, your ability to uh, have powerful social skills, whether it's networking, whether it's finding mentors, finding investors, it all comes down to a few principles. Always use, by the way, $100 bookmarks. Why? It's not to show off, it's to remind you that if you read this book, there's a lot of value in it, not just uh, financially, but in all ways in life. So we're gonna head back to the office here. Let me see if I can get you in. Brought the Ferrari out. Um, so I, you know, watch the edge here. Don't scrape. Uh, so the most powerful things that I've learned when it comes to social skills, you all right, you in there? Oh, I'm gonna try to sneak in here without getting hit. Woo, Sunset Boulevard's a bitch. Um, the number one, hold on guys. There we go, sneak in. All right, so when you're first starting out, it's very easy to get intimidated, right? Why? Well, you'll assume that just because you've never done anything or you're just starting out, that everybody you meet knows that. People don't always know that. So you gotta stay cool under pressure. I don't know what happened to my hair. The top down on this thing. Spiders are awesome, but don't go too fast. Anyway, uh, so the first thing is don't get intimidated. You gotta stay cool. Every human is on the same path. No matter how powerful they are today, in 100 years, they'll be dead. Keep that in mind. No matter how beautiful somebody is, uh, they won't be beautiful in 100 years. All of us are on the same path. And since we're all on the same, and I actually read an interesting book. Uh, I think it's by Mladenow, the guy, the physicist from Caltech. And he said, all humans are descended from 70 women. Genetically, humans are very close to each other. So don't get intimidated because being intimidated and showing a lot of weakness to people uh, will inevitably turn them off. No one wants to be around somebody who's desperate. So number two uh, is don't be cocky. So sometimes people are either too shy and intimidated or they're flip side. You can't post up. One time I made a mistake. I had a, a billionaire guy and it's the first Ferrari I ever had. Not this one, another one. And I showed up at the airport and I was trying to act all cool. Like I was, you know, can you press the start button? And by the way, I shouldn't talk too much. Probably nobody wants to hear from me. Holly's a little bit shy, but you moved here from Kentucky. I did. You were Miss I Kentucky. I was Miss Kentucky 2013. So she knows Donald Trump, mm. uh, if you're looking at the political race. But <laughs> um, you didn't know anybody here and you had to network. And yeah, yeah, I came here all on my own, drove here, you know, across the country and you just figure it out. You meet people, you network and... And you're not, she doesn't really get into, you don't get intimidated. You're pretty cool under no. pressure. She didn't even need this book. She didn't even need those $100 bills. She's a Capricorn though. Capricorns always appreciate $100 bills, bookmarks. <laughs> uh, anyway, so the number two thing, you know, when I rolled up on this guy in Ferrari at the airport, he was a billionaire. It didn't impress him. He was like, dude, I got, he told me, he goes, I have a fleet of Ferraris. He's like, what'll impress me about you is you just showing me what you know, which leads to number three. You gotta know stuff. And a lot of people say, Ty, how can I, you know, be persuasive? How can I network? If you don't know shit, people are gonna figure it out. So the beauty is no matter where you are in the world, you could be broke like I was, broke, sleeping on a couch, 40 bucks in your, 47 bucks in my bank account. You could be in the same situation, dead. Whatever it is, you can still know a lot of stuff. Because you can pick up a book, you can go to you can go on YouTube now, you can start to become knowledgeable. And you don't have to be knowledgeable about everything. Warren Buffett the billionaire investor says just have a circle of competence just keep your knowledge in a tight circle and you'll impress people so there's a lot more things check out the book you've never read it before right I have it. so I'm gonna read it. she's gonna read it <laughs> and along with that that's a badass coffee table book if you never heard the story I used to own a lot of nightclubs so this is like the original nightclub studio 54 by the way check out this shirt somebody made for me the good life health, wealth, love, and happiness, and it's got my website. Somebody mailed this, so whoever mailed this to me, thank you for the president, and uh, you wanna hold the camera while I drive it for a second? <laughs> Can't 
can't go too fast. There's a lot of people on Sunset. All right, that's how fast you could go. People always are like, dude, why don't you go fast on these videos? I'm like, it's Hollywood, guys. You see, Phil, turn the camera around. That's about how fast you can go. So, anyway. Here, you can hold it again. So, here's a question for you. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this big contest. I'm going to give away a car this year, okay, to the winner. It's not going to be a Ferrari 458 Spider, but I'm going to give away a car, and I'm giving stuff away every Friday. Uh, I have this little thing called Invest in Others. I believe people helped me when I was starting out. They didn't always help me with contests or money, but they gave some time. They, my mentors taught me what they knew, and so I believe in investing back in other people. So I'm doing this thing. So subscribe here, um, wherever you're watching this. Make sure you subscribe because I'm just going to pick randomly from the subscribers every Friday and I'm doing some flash contest stuff too. And at the end of the year, I'm going to pick somebody. Uh, so give them a car. Okay. So uh, anyway, subscribe. And by the way, what's the number one thing you ever learned about people, dealing with people? Um, treat others the way you want to be treated. Old school, golden <laughs> rule. Can't beat that. All right, guys. Peace out.